Hi, today we are going to show you a project which we are going to use PIC in and here we are going to control this motor. First we go anti it can go anti-clockwise, it can go clockwise, it can stop fast and with a jerk in a sudden break and it can also uh, cost. So here we here we are using a hedge bridge which can change the polarity and uh, which can also make sure it costs and make certain breaks okay and uh, yeah we have made these switches to what to say like control the motor this is anti this is anti clockwise this is sudden break this is clockwise and this is costing so anti clockwise sudden break clockwise costing anti clockwise sudden break clockwise and costing and you just need to use these switches first one is for anti clockwise second one for sudden break third one for clockwise and fourth one for costing and yeah, see? Okay. Anti clockwise, sudden break, clockwise, break. And to make sure you know that it's pressed properly, you can just click on this and you can see, look at the LED. Right now it's in costing. And the LED goes. Now if you put in uh, clockwise, it, this LED goes. Mm -hmm. Sudden break. So, yeah. so this is a very normal project and if you want to see more projects you can go to our website. Now you might be wondering why we have two battery packs instead of only one. Now because of the because you know that motors also send pulses and if we use one battery pack it might interfere with the LEDs and the switches. Now if you realize the switches and the LEDs are in port B while the motor is only in port A. So we do not want it to interfere with these so we we use this battery pack and it is about uh, three, volts. three volts or something and this nine. this is nine volts for the uh, LEDs and switches. So this will make sure it runs properly. Program. You know, we have just C program as usual to program this and if you, and for just for a tip, make sure you are doing this on a, uh, what do you say, board because now there are a lot of wires and it's going to be really confusing. We are going to also put a picture of the board so don't, you can look, uh, look here and if you want to more, if you want to see more projects, go to website www.electronicsforkids.com spelling www.electronicsforkids.com. Thank you.